is one measure of magnesium more relevant than others when managing arrhythmias? Um, I assume by measure you mean uh, measurement of nutritional status, in which case um, I think you want to look at the serum level. Uh, but, um, but with that said, I, I think that if you're trying to fix a problem with the serum level, you probably at some point want to look at the red blood cell level and the urine level. Um, and so, and I've, I've outlined a protocol with this in testing nutritional status, the ultimate cheat sheet. But basically, um, there is a thought that red blood cell magnesium might be more sensitive to magnesium deficiency than serum magnesium. Um, however, I'm not sure that you can, um, that any of that data refutes that red blood cell magnesium is basically just, if red blood cell magnesium drops when serum magnesium hasn't, um, that's just because you, you have trouble get, transporting magnesium into cells. I think that's one uh, inter plausible interpretation of that. In terms of arrhythmia, red blood cell magnesium is not going to tell you more than serum. Serum is going to tell you more than red blood cell because um, red blood cells aren't your heart, for, no, for, for one thing. Um, and then uh, you know, you're not going to get a heart biopsy and look at the magnesium concentration of your heart cells. Um, but then again, uh, or not then again, in addition to that, in the, in the heart, um, the serum magnesium is relevant because it represents the extracellular compartment of magnesium. And magnesium, uh, and generally ion flows across the membrane are what are driving arrhythmias. Now, with that said, um, one of the ways that magnesium could impact arrhythmias would be through influencing other minerals. Um, and so I would not recommend just looking at magnesium on its own. Uh, you definitely have to look at the calcium levels, the sodium levels, the potassium levels. I mean, those would be the big four. Um, and it's possible that magnesium is impacting those others Right, because for example, you need magnesium to lower intracellular calcium concentrations and in, intracellular calcium elevations um, drive muscle contractions, including in the heart. Um, and then in addition to that, at extreme levels up or down of serum magnesium, you can have, an, you can alt, you can have a secondary impact on the serum concentrations of other electrolytes, especially calcium and potassium. Um, so I, I would say serum, but I would say if you're looking to explain magnesium uh, status on the table should be urine magnesium and red blood cell magnesium, as well as serum, not in place of. Um, but then if you're looking specifically at arrhythmias, I would not neglect to look at total and ionized calcium, potassium, and sodium. So hope that helped, Heather.